Were you impressed by the scale of the production? Because watching it in the cinema is like, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. The scenes seem to go on and on and on. You can see people on the horizon probably acting or doing whatever they're doing. It's yeah, no, it's, it, it is extraordinary. I mean, you, you kind of, it's weird because you get used to it when you're doing it, which is ridiculous because you've got these huge pirate ships and you've got, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of extras. And it isn't until you really see the film that you go, oh, okay, that is enormous. I tell you, one of my favourite bits, and it's, for me, the first time I've seen a scene with you where you, your pure comedic role, we're on the beach and you're shouting at the guys. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Excellent scene. <laughs> Thank you. Exasperated yourself the whole thing, just sorry about yeah. these idiots. Exactly. Yeah. Johnny Depp, idiot, you know. Fool. Fool. Who would want to do that? Bloom. Whoa. Oh, fine. <laughs> Let's just pull out our swords and stop banging away at each other. That's the <laughs> soul everything. It's teetering on criminal fun, you know, just because... You get to do all this, you know, you know, playing that character and and getting to sort of explore scenes and change things around and and should surprise yourself and surprise the director and throw throw curveballs at the other cast members. I mean, that kind of stuff. And then you and then you should step back and go, wow, you know, this is my job. I'm getting paid for this. You know, it's it's pretty shocking. <laughs> Just being Jack is really the best for me. Just getting to play him. Strange job for grown men. I've loved being part of these because they're an amazing set of films and uh, they're a lot to do. Dead, dead man's chest is it going to be just as big i think it's going to be better yeah because in this movie they've got like davy jones bill knight who's played by bill knight amazing Incredible. actor amazing. who has done this whole like under under the ocean thing it's like brought in the sort of myth and legend of davy jones davy jones's locker the history of the east india trading company so it sort of yeah. gives it like legitimacy if you like you know like a sort of credibility you know yeah. what i mean and uh, and it's mad it's, it's mad impressive. i mean i was work working with davy jones he's like got this he's, spots around his face, but he's, you know, when you see him in the movie with his squid face, it's like, yeah. it's fantastic. Mr. Bill Nye, celebrated British actor, one of our best. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Trying to give it to you, hard and fast year as well. Yeah. You're the best thing in the movie. Steady. It's my opinion, I'm a title to it. Calm down. I'm sorry, but... Pull yourself together. You play a guy who's half man, half squid, stroke octopus, and you pull her off. Well, thank you kindly. I'm actually a little bit of crab as well. You, of course there is, there's a pincer. Do you know what I'm saying? I have one leg that's a crab leg and I have a pincer, as you put it, uh, for my left arm. Uh, but somewhere in the middle there, there is a Scotsman uh, trying to get out. I uh, so badly. Because Jack just infuriates everybody and because they had a deal. If Davy Jones comes into your life, he comes into your life at the point of death and he offers you a deal and it's a truly lousy deal, but it's mm. the only deal in town. And Jack, in his usual way, is, uh, has not held up anything like his end of the deal and he's squirming and squeaming his way out of it. Yeah. And it drives Davy crazy because Davy Jones is supposed to be the most powerful and feared creature on the ocean waves, if not on all of the planet. Mm. And Jack doesn't seem to take him seriously enough. Welcome to your TV movie. Movie special, Kenzie Crook, Tom Hollander, how are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, let's talk about uh, your character first of all, uh, Rigetti. Mm -hmm. um, in the first one, silly things all the time. Your lighter moments uh, of relief within this movie, uh, you kind of sum things up, you give brief synopsises here and there. That's true. A yeah. moment of clarity for me. Yeah, yeah, perhaps, yeah, you're right. I mean, I am still the fool I was in the first movie, but, but yeah, I a do. knowing fool. No. Uh, Tom. You play car uh, your character in this movie, it's brand new, Lord Cutler Beckett. Not a particularly nice guy. Tell us about your character. He's just, he's a villain. And uh, that means he's the same as all the other villains. So he was bullied at school, didn't have any mm. friends. Uh, I think he maybe was at school with Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Jack Sparrow was having fun, having girlfriends and things. I wasn't having any fun, no girlfriends, so I was at home adding things up, being yeah. very serious ironing my shirts <laughs> then here we are 20 years later he's a drunk and i'm very rich with uh, beautiful clothes and i'm trying to stop him having a nice time uh, you also uh, got to be roughed up by kira knightley in a wedding dress that was the most extraordinary thing because i would had seen pirates one and i was a uh, fan of it and then in shooting that scene with kira i really did actually feel as if i'd walked into the film 
just went in and had some fun with some nice actors and a good director and it felt like making a small independent film in front of the camera. Joey Brookheimer. Yes, Steve. Superstar producer. Nah. Yes. Superstar entertainer here. Oh, please. Please, but thank you. <laughs> um, everything you touch turns to gold, Joey. Let's hope that. Let's hope. Let's hope. Do you mind? Of course. Whew, feeling that. Feeling that. When did you first decide, let's make three of these? Was uh, it on the back of the success of the well, first? Well, I think it was, no, it was even before. I wanted to make it. You know, we were having such a good time. I thought we had a really good movie. I pitched Disney, let's make another one, if not two. And they said, uh, we don't want to jinx it. Let's wait till the movie comes out. Yeah, right. Movies comes out. About three weeks later, I get a call. He said, are you guys working on a script yet? <laughs> and I said, no, you told us not to. He said, you better get started. How about a fourth? I'd love to do it, you know, and Johnny was t just talking about uh, if, he, if it's a good script, he'll be there. Mm. Johnny and Orlando here this evening looking good in suits. Do you prefer them suited and booted or in a pirate outfit? No, I like them a bit grubby. It's you like much better. It's much more fun. What about this evening? What about the premiere? What are you going to do next after you watch the movie? Are you going to go to the party? Yep. Yeah, swing by the party. And what, then, uh, uh, what will you be getting up to at that party? Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Saying hello to my family and friends. A lot of them have tried to come tonight and catching up with people. You know. Tell me about the party after the movie. Are you excited? Yes. What do you do at these parties? I know Orlando, he's getting drunk. Is which he? Is fair enough. I think I might follow him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this tape, this this dress is stuck down, so it's not going anywhere. So I should be quite safe to get quite drunk. Tell me uh, what you're going to be doing this evening. I'm uh, going to going to wander around here for a little bit, and then uh, wander away and wander elsewhere. Will you be having a few uh, cheeky babies this evening? Might might have a, a couple of sort of uh, yeah glasses of wine. Some beautiful. Whatever you do, enjoy yourself. You deserve it. Take care, man. Thank you. Cheers, Johnny. Pleasure. Appreciate it.